a yellow with a green and a yellow. So we're going to make yellow solid OK. And we're going to go to the Eclipse tool. And we're going to double click on it. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to make sh a new shape like so. And we're going to click and hold Shift just so it fills up the space. Uh, change the fill to that yellow color. Uh, center it up. You want to make it so. I didn't do that good enough, did I? Now make another zoom out a lot. Go to the eclipse tool and make sure it would fill up the whole of the canvas in the center. And it's just going to come in to the third title. Yeah, yeah, start just after 10 seconds, between 10 and 11. Just gotta make sure we start at the beginning. Do the paragraph. Then we'll go to transform, scale, and we'll keyframe it. So it's zero here. And then probably by 11 seconds, uh, it's 100. 100. So that way it flies in like so. And again, if we control D on this layer, go to effect, generate, and fill. And we fill it with that green that you see there, that's the same green and okay. And just maybe go to the transform tool and move the keyframes so maybe just a little bit after not so much you can see when it looks good okay there so it's a little bit delayed so it flies in like so and again do this repeat this so you control D and just go to uh, remove the fill because it was the yellow originally and go to the transform and scale and delay it just a little bit further like so. So that way that produces the kind of ring expand uh, so it zooms out. Uh, it's better than it just being one solid color. And so there you have that. So now when you've got them expanding the circles pop up. So what we're going to do on After Effects is going to make a new in fact no we'll, we'll pre-compose this first so go hold shift on all of them uh, layer uh, and we will pre-compose um, to third like so so all of that's edited obviously you can always open these compositions uh, should you need be and so if it starts it's probably free but then Lower this down. Don't know why I've got it so small. Fit up to 100%. Need just a little bit out, a little bit more. And so we're going to make some more circles. Now this is a t really tedious part. Um, so we're going to have to make some circles here. Hold Shift so they make sure they're circles, like so. Uh, I'm going to change the color of them to a bluish color. Yeah, fills actually rather up here. I'm going to make sure it's a nice kind of deep blue color fit up to a hundred percent again uh, I'm not feeling that blue to be honest so I'll change this blue to why do I keep doing this fill uh, get the right color blue that looks okay I'll leave it at that for now and I'm just going to control D control D control D and I'm going to scatter them around Um, I've got five, that's all right. Move one up there, one there, like so. So now I've got the four circles that flies out. You want them to all start a lot after the circles then, so it's obviously you can easily see to when should it start. They probably should start by then just a little bit before maybe 
because you've always got the yellow in the middle. Um, there we go. So they all pop up if we go to all of them and the transform. And I will do it individually. We'll do it individually. Uh, maybe kind of tedious, but you get a more kind of human feel uh, all at the same time. So it's kind of not so much robotic. Yeah, go to transform and go to the scale. So by then, the scale should be 100. And then at the start, should be 0. So it pops up like so. And repeat this effect for all of them. So it's going to start. This will pop up by then, so keyframe the scale to 100 and the start there, so 0. So they're not coming up all at exactly the same time, different times, like so. Uh, hide and hide. Uh, you notice that they're not coming in from the center, they're kind of coming out. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much because that's quite a bit of fiddling, uh, but it's just the anchor point. So if you move this around and get the right anchor point, uh, that that will make sure it comes in at the center. <clears throat> I'm not going to fuss too much about that now, but I just want to express that so you guys know. Let's have a quick drink here. Yeah, there we go. So I started on these two, up to 100%. Um, the third one, we will change the transform and the scale to 100 about there and 0 about there you know they're all coming in at different times different rates uh, they're all not popping up together transform <coughs> in fact you know I'm, I'm not going to do the text uh, for this now um, the text is exactly the same it's just keyframing um, if you follow these steps, you make some text, you keyframe the scale 0 and 100 uh, just to match up. Um, if you have any problems with that, um, message me and I'm sure, I'll be sure to get to it. Um, scale 100, move that across maybe just a little bit, and 0. And then on the top, final circle, my last but my certainly not least, 